Hi everyone. Have you ever heard about vinegar syndrome? It's a disease that affects LCD panels such as PC screen. Of course, the cause is chemical reaction, not a disease like a human disease. However, interestingly, it will infect other PCs kept together with a PC which already have developed the symptom. Of course, not through the virus, but a gas generated by the chemical reaction. The symptom is called vinegar syndrome because the three acetate cellulose used for the base of polarizer film of LCD panel will cause chemical change due to moisture in the air and change the base material into acetic acid or vinegar. So it will smell like the vinegar. Let me try. Yeah, yes, smell like vinegar. <laughs> it is said that it will take about 30 years to develop the symptom in an environmental temperature of 25 degrees Celsius and humidity of 50%. It doesn't sound serious, but it will take only six to seven years if the temperature is 35 degrees Celsius and humidity is 70%. This is common temperature and humidity during summer in Japan. And I think the conditions in many countries near the equator is similar whole year. So the symptom can develop fairly fast during the stretch without air conditioning. It is a serious issue for individuals who use PC or some other equipment with LCD panel over 10 years old. But it is not considered as a big issue by many manufacturers or people. Because for them, over 10 years old equipment is just a recyclable garbage, not yet taken for recycle. This is particularly considered as serious problem for stretch of old cinema films, photonegative films, and microfilms for long-term stretch of documents because same material is used for the base of photographic films too. Because the chemical reaction progresses slowly, TVs, desktop PC monitors, and laptops which used every day expose the LCD panel to the air, and generated gas diffuses quickly, and it will not accelerate the chemical reaction. So, other parts of equipment will normally come to end of life before LCD panel develop the vinegar syndrome. This is LCD panel of a radio frequency test equipment. It was built more than 20 years ago and have been stored in a reasonably good environment. However, it has developed the vinegar syndrome, as you can see. Maybe because of the LCD panel is covered by transparent plastic panel. The generated gas could be trapped inside. Because of the fact already mentioned, I recommend following for long-term stretch of equipment with LCD panel. Store in cool and dry place. Do not put them in carton box together with other equipment with LCD panel. Otherwise, all will be suffered after some time. Do not close lid of laptop during stretch, if possible. Maybe half open will be okay. How can we repair it if the vinegar syndrome have already developed? Replacement of LCD panel is not a choice. The spare part is not available for such old equipment anymore or replacement with new LCD panel is expensive for the old equipment, even if the spare part is available. So we need surgery. You can renew the polarizer film of LCD panel. The polarizer film can be purchased from Amazon or other similar online shoppings. I take this laptop PC for the demonstration of the surgery. This is Sony Bio PCZ C1 series laptop. It was very popular small PC days around year 2000. This featured small and light and had very wide LCD screen at the time. You can purchase polarizer film something like 
25 centimeters times 25 centimeters, depending on availability in your country, for about 1,000 to 1,500 yen, or about 10 to 15 US dollars. Adhesive and non-adhesive types are available. I take adhesive one for this demonstration and talk about non-adhesive type later. The first, we need to find out angle to match the plane of polarization of polarizer film with LCD panel. Usually, the plane of polarization of LCD panel is horizontal or vertical or incline 45 degrees left or right. Even same brand or model, the plane of polarization can be different depending on supplier, even depending on production lot. So I recommend testing it with LCD panel you are going to work with every time. This is polarizer film I purchased. Check adhesive side and non-adhesive side. This side is non-adhesive and this side is adhesive. So face adhesive side to the LCD panel. And then change the angle of the film like this to find the brightest angle. However, the film with adhesive may not show bright or dark angle clearly. In that case, cut small piece at the corner like this and peel off the protection film of both sides. This is adhesive side, so face this to LCD panel and you can see bright and dark are distinct clearly. As you can see, this angle is the darkest and this angle is the brightest. These are the edges of the film. The plane of polarization is inclined 45 degrees. The next, remove LCD panel from laptop. I do not talk about how to do it here, as how to remove LCD panel differs laptop to laptop. Please try to find it out yourself or ask Google who can teach you how. This is the LCD panel. In fact, this is not the one removed from the laptop mentioned area, but another laptop of same model. This LCD panel has developed the symptom much wider, affected almost all over the panel. Remove the frame. After you remove the frame, measure the size of the original polarizer film. In case of this LCD panel, the height measures 102 millimeters. But I recommend to make the new film a little larger because it is easier to position the film. A little misalignment can be absorbed by the extra lens. The width measures 212 millimeters, so I make it 214 millimeters, or it can be even larger. Next, cut out polarizer film for the required size. As I mentioned before, plane of polarization of the LCD panel inclined 45 degrees. You need to cut out this way or this way at angle of 45 degrees according to your test result with the LCD panel. The next, remove original damaged polarizer film. Cut in between the film and base glass plate. And peel it off. 
Peel it off little by little. It needs patience to do this job because of strong glue and fragile glass plate. Okay, so we removed the old polarizer film. Then we need to remove glue residue with ethanol or isopropanol. Again, needs patience. Now apply the polarizer film. This is 10 times more difficult than applying screen protector on the smartphone because it is larger, thicker, harder, and has stronger glue. There are several techniques for removing dust and air bubbles for a smartphone screen protector you can find on the web or YouTube. But such techniques do not work well for the polarizer film. With screen protector, Remaining air bubbles will disappear overnight or in a few days as screen protector has microscopic holes to let air go but not with the polarizer film. It will take a year for the air bubbles to disappear as per my experience. Also, it will never disappear if any foreign matter lying underneath the film. Okay, clean the surface of the glass plate and blow out dust. I do this work in the bathroom where most likely the fewest dust floating in my house. You can take your clothes off and purify yourself with shower before you start the job if you wish the perfect result. But, but I don't do that much. For this video, I use free size LCD screen protection film selling for very cheap price. Just for demonstration purpose in this video. I bought it from 100 yen shop. I start applying from longer side of the film because it is easy to position the film correctly and shorter time required to complete. Shorter time means less chance of dust in the air to fall on the LCD panel. I could easily quickly apply the film on the panel because it's a screen protector film. But not this easy with real polarizer film without trapping air underneath the film and also not possible to push the air bubbles out because of strong glue. Using adhesive type polarizer film will give perfect result only if successfully done. If you think it is difficult work or you can't wait a year for air bubbles to disappear Good alternative is to use non-adhesive type polarizer film, the one without glue. It is much, much easier to work, but some compromise is required. Here are advantages of non-adhesive type polarizer film. It is easy to determine plan of polarization. Easy to position the film correctly. You can remove it and re-attempt any times as you need. And most importantly, less sensitive to dust and air bubbles because there will be small gap between the glass panel and the film. On the other hand, the gap creates something like stain on the LCD screen. This is the one I tried with another LCD panel. 
the glass panel and the film contact closely at some parts of the screen and some other parts leave some gaps. This creates the stain on the screen. You can see the stain in the photo marked with orange circles. The brighter part has close contact and less bright part has some gaps. So adhesive type is good for the people who don't want to accept any imperfect quality and he or she have confidence to do the job. Non-adhesive type is suitable for people who don't want to take risk and happy enough if there is no problem in practical use. An additional thing I need to talk about. There is another polarizer film on the other side of the LCD panel between the back illumination diffuser films and LCD panel core. This is a sample of old LCD panel core. The outer or front side has developed the vinegar syndrome significantly. But the back side polarizer film has only slightly affected as you can see. So I have worked some LCD panels, but I haven't seen any LCD panel I needed to renew the back side polarizer film. I believe that there will be some dark spot line or area or something like that if the vinegar syndrome developed at the back side of polarizer film. Theoretically, you can renew the back side polarizer film the same way if needed. But you have to disassemble further deep. An important thing is that the plane of polarization of front and back cross at 90 degrees. So when you determine the plane of polarization on front, the back side one should be turned over like this way. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this topic interesting and useful. See you at next episode. Bye for now.